I'm good. And it's 7.30 and I'm gonna go to cardio. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. It is 9.50 I think. What time is it? The time went back, yeah. So it's 9.53 and Taz and I just finished having breakfast. The best meal is gone. Mm -hmm. It's nowhere but down from here. <laughs> Woke up at 1.37 today on the dot, so that's good. Hopefully we stay on that track because I've been just fluctuating between 1.37 and 1.38. Um, and I just realized that this is the beginning of the video because I didn't film yesterday. Sorry about that. Today, Taz and I are finishing up things that we need to get done. I started packing yesterday. I gotta finish a couple things, make sure everything what I need is in there for DR and Miami since I'm not coming back to New Hampshire. And yeah, right now I'm going to prep some food for today and tomorrow just so that I can get it out of the way and then just focus on everything else that we need to do today. And I think that's it. So a lot of um, busy work, you know what I'm saying? Bleaker's looking for food on the counter, but there's nothing there because I ate it all. And yeah, that's it. So. Welcome to this video and I hope it's interesting enough because I don't foresee us doing anything interesting today. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys in the next clip. It is 12.30, oh 12.35 and it's time for meal number two. Two? Two. Mm -hmm. And today I got sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. And I'm trying to wean off of all the condiments. Trying it out, maybe seeing if that's what I need to like start taking out so I can drop weight. Um, so I'm doing some hot sauce today. And Taz and I have just been working on the super secret project. Mm -hmm. And I was getting very annoyed with the internet or the interwebs or technology or whatever. So we took a break to have some lunch. And then I think now we're gonna try and finish packing. <laughs> start packing. Finish packing for me, start packing for him. <laughs> All right, bye. Okay, it's almost two o'clock and I'm pretty much all done packing. I have everything over here. It's pretty organized too. Very proud of myself. And um, Poopy's just stretching over here. <gasps> stretch, 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 stretch. Look at that. You're so cute. I'm gonna miss you so much. Then I'm taking a carry-on, which is this. And I decided to bring all of my competition stuff, like my bikini, my heels, my jewelry, all the basics for competition on a carry-on just in case something happens to my luggage. I'm not trying to lose it. And yeah, so that's this bag. And I also brought some Fitch Crutch Bars. Fitch, Fitch Crutch Bars. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Hey! Mm -hmm. Hey! Hey you, what are you doing? You want to come with us? Please come with us. Mm -hmm. I wish I could. I'm going to miss you so much. And Taz is working on his over there. But yeah, all I need to do is pack my camera, my laptop, um, my makeup for show day and also for the reg. And the reg. just like little things like my toothbrush and stuff like that, which we'll pack tomorrow because we don't leave till 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So I've got some time still. I don't feel like I'm going on vacation. Like, I just, cause I feel like I'm not gonna really have the ability to enjoy it in terms of like food, but we'll see, we'll see. Cause I'll be on vacation, but I still have to do go to the gym, my fasted cardio, all that yeah, good stuff. Shit, so, that's it. All right, I'm also shooting in Miami a couple times, so I have some, I have to pack so much stuff. I have to pack my stuff for my for vacation. I have to pack stuff for like the gym stuff, like over an, abund an overabundance of gym clothes because I sweat all the time, like cardio twice a day, the gym, Ugh! and then photo shoot stuff. I really hope that doesn't weigh more than 50 pounds because I feel like it does. But, all right, I'm done blabbing. Can I eat already? <laughs> it is three o'clock and it's time for my next meal, 3.30 I think. And I'm just having something very simple. Just some cod um, and some asparagus. It's actually really good. I put it in the oven. 
and I also am making some French pressed coffee and I'm deciding to get a little bit creative I'm gonna take out the mocha that I got um, from Amazon for my last prep I haven't had it in a really long time but I'm gonna try to make it in my hot coffee because I've never done it in hot coffee so um, it's freezing here today and it's not warm at all inside the house so I'm freezing and I want something warm and the coffee with this mocha it's going perfect so I'm pretty much all done um, packing like I said I think I want to watch Arrow just to kind of like have some downtime downtime I'm, I'm very tired today and yesterday too so I'm assuming that the next couple weeks are going to be like this until show day so I don't feel like doing much but a lot to do. I have my periscope later and um, I have to do my second round of cardio today. And then that's it. So, just wanted to update you guys. Talk to you in a little bit. Holy moly, this coffee is so good. So, I prefer that sugar free mocha in hot coffee for sure. Um, the Starbucks one in cold and this one for hot. So, I just did just black coffee with just some of that sugar-free mocha and I put a little bit of whipped cream on top for a little creaminess. Holy moly, so good. Cravings curbed. I'm very happy right now. It is 5 p.m. and this is why I hate the time change. It's already dark. Like, what? Oh, it's so annoying. I feel like it's like 10 o'clock at night. But I am going to do my second round of cardio now. I have this much water left and I was making a priority to hit more than a gallon. I just want to flush as much of it out as I can. So looks like I'll be having a gallon and a half today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do my cardio and then come back and eat. It looks like I punched myself in the eye. I've been like, something was in my eye. But yeah, I'm going to go do these 30 minutes of cardio and eat my next meal, which I'm really looking forward to. All right, those are the dogs. Right. Hey guys, 6.50 p.m. and I did my cardio. I showered, nope, I did not shower because um, we actually ran out of oil, I guess. That's what heats up the water here and so Taz had to go out and get it and we had no hot water. So I literally stepped in the shower and I remembered and I was like, nope, not happening, peace. So I like took a, like a, I, I dried up and I like washed parts of my body and I was like, I cannot. It's too cold for that. But anyway, I had my uh, fourth meal and it was the same as my second meal, which was chicken soup or ground turkey, sweet potatoes and broccoli. And I just put hot sauce on it because I'm trying to like get off the ketchup and barbecue sauce. And yeah, that's it. And now it's 6.50 and I just changed my periscope to uh, seven o'clock instead of eight because there's just too much temptation around me right now. Like Taz is in the kitchen making some bacon and cooking some turkey in the bacon grease for his dad who's gonna make his queso, which is my fave. And I just don't wanna be around it. So I'm trying to like move everything up so I can um, be in bed after my next meal. So um, yeah, that's it. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog for tonight here and I'm gonna vlog a little bit tomorrow. Um, as I get ready to go to DR and then obviously DR. So hope you guys have a good night when I or hope you're having a good day Good night whenever you're seeing this and I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you Good morning guys It is like 8 in the morning and I finished my cardio because uh, We leave today, so I wanted to like start the day early because there's a lot to take care of before we go But I just want to come on and say hi you guys saw my way in 135.8 yeah yeah i'm excited today i'm gonna go eat breakfast make some coffee and then do my check-ins with my girls and just take care of a lot of things so oh we got to send some shipments out before we leave some weekend shipments that came in and that's it so let's go have coffee my new favorite coffee which i'm gonna show you guys let's go Okay, coffee time. So I had my breakfast and I decided to have my coffee while I do my check-ins. So this is what I do. Uh, French press express a uh, fresh, fresh, French pressed coffee. It doesn't have to be French pressed, but that's what we have here at our house. Fill her up. And typically, every single day, I usually use this one. This is a sugar-free Italian sweet cream and is out of this world good. However, yesterday I tried this and I love it. 
You guys, if you've been following me since my very first prep, I used to, um, when I was obsessed with sugar, well, I still am, but I can't get it. The sugar-free mocha from Starbucks, I found this online and I would make it cold, like for my iced coffee uh, here at home. Doesn't taste like it at all, but it like satisfied it a little bit. However, I added this yesterday to my coffee and I love it hot. So I prefer this sugar-free mocha in a hot drink. And then I add my stevia. Kona, you okay? Come here, girl. You okay? Are you doing, are you doing crazy things? You okay? All right, and then I try out the coffee, see if it's good. And then to top it off, I do a little bit of ready whip. And then, last but not least, some cinnamon. Sprinkle that on top. And that's it. Gives it a nice little um, touch there. My favorite coffee in the world. Mm, currently <laughs> now I'm gonna go do check-ins and then um, I'm gonna actually work out here today so I don't waste time by going to the gym and coming back blah blah, blah. I have everything I need for shoulders downstairs so I'm gonna do that and uh, finish packing all last minute things to do like my toiletries and um, toothbrush stuff like that so I'm pretty much all set I just have a lot of busy work to do so I'm gonna get that started catch you guys later it's time for my second meal and it's just rice, broccoli, and chickens with a side of bleaker and Kona. <laughs> so much love. All right, so it's 11.15, gonna have the second meal. Um, she added a half cup of rice to the meal right before my lift, so I'm going to eat this, let it digest a little bit, and then go downstairs for my shoulder workout. Also, the work is pretty much done. Check-ins are done. Um, all we have to do is send out those packages to, um, or those shipments of the orders that came in this week and have to finish packing the last minute things and that's it. So we have to be out of the house by what time? 5.45? No, 5.40? Uh, 5.45. 5.45 to get to the bus station by 6.10 because we're taking the bus from here to the airport in Boston. So that's that. All right, I'm going to eat. Catch you guys later. I just finished my meal. It was gone too quickly. However, I got a package in the mail. So let's open it. So like I said, I'm shooting in Miami. Very excited. So I have to buy some last minute suits. Hopefully they fit. Is that it? I only got two? I'm pretty sure I ordered more than two. Here's one. I love the color. And the top just looks like this. Oh, this looks really big. Uh oh. And I got the same one, but in a different color. I got it in this blue. But I'm pretty sure I ordered something else too. Oh. It's cute, right? The top is the same, just different color. I don't think, I think this is gonna be way too big, like around my. Thing. All right, I'm gonna try them on. Let's see how they look like. Okay, so just tried one of them on, and the top is a little bit big, but I think we can make it work. Um, see, but here's a little sneak peek. I love the color and the booty. Very excited. Cheek. Change of plans, but not really. Slight change of plans. This gentleman right here is gonna take me through a shoulder workout. Here we go. Let's do this. Ready? Yep. Go. All right guys, so the first thing we're starting off with, making sure the shoulders get nice and warmed up, are some really, really light lateral raises. So the first thing she's doing, we're doing 20 reps total. First 10, she's doing a slight pause at the top. Second 10, our quicker tempo partial rep. So she's actually not coming all the way down to the bottom uh, and resting here. So she's coming now about 90% of the way, keeping tension in the shoulders, getting a nice 
good amount of blood flow, Shit. and a good burn. Yep. Come on, babe, it's like seven and a half pounds. Oh, sh Second thing in this next super set, barbell press paired with some neutral grip dumbbell press. So right here, she's doing super slow controlled reps, about four seconds on the way down, really controlling it, pausing for a second right at her chest. Right there, pause, and driving up nice and quick. Five reps there, and then 12 reps with a neutral grip dumbbell press. Nice and quick, fast reps, so we're challenging her. One way with the barbell, nice and slow and controlled, a little bit heavier weight, and now lighter weight, blood flow, contraction with the dumbbells. Alrighty, our next superset, or actually this is a compound set. Supersets are typically alternating exercises of different muscle parts, so like a chest and a back. This is actually a compound set because we're actually doing both shoulder exercises. So what she's doing now, some cable upright rows. We're doing this eight. 10, 12. First set was eight, second set was 10. Last set's gonna be 12. Paired with some rear delt flies. So she's really focusing on keeping those elbows nice and wide. The higher up your elbow is when you're pulling back, the more you're gonna work those rear delts. So if your elbow's closer and you're pulling back, it might involve a little bit more lats. So she's really focusing on minimizing the momentum at the bottom of the movement, pulling through the pinkies. Squeeze. I forgot to mention that was 15 reps. So eight, 10, 12 on the upright row, 15 reps all the way through of the rear delt fly. Rear delt fly. Up. All right, Ooh, fuck. Our next and final superset, we are doing a slow and controlled Arnold press, a little bit slower. Good. So about three to four seconds on the way down with a half, half second pause at the bottom, hold, squeeze and drive five, six reps. I can't remember exactly what I said, six. but slow and controlled, <laughs> really focusing on controlling that movement, followed by some high rep front raises. So these are lighter weight. How much are you 12. using? 12 pounds. So light, high rep, 12, 15, what did I just, did I just 12. say reps? 12. <laughs> I can't remember what I program, but. What a trainer. Anyway, I'm great. I promise you guys, I'm good. But, so yeah, uh, challenging both weight and tempo with the Arnold press and then speed oh. and blood flow with the second one. So I think that's gonna do it. I think that's gonna be our last one. Then I gotta do cardio. Then she's gonna do cardio. Then we're on vacation. Kind of. He's on vacation. I'm just gonna watch. <laughs> gonna watch. I just wanna point out one thing. Taz, what are you doing? He's having a mid-workout snack. We're not done with the workout and he found some protein chips that he's attacking right now. I want them. <laughs> Taz is learning how to speak Spanish. Duolingo. Duolingo. There it is. Look at that. I learned the skill food too. Show me what you learned. Well, come on. Los hongos. La what? Los hongos. No. Los hongos? Los hongos. <laughs> Do you, know the, you know what you just said? The mushrooms. Yes. <laughs> Las fresas. What's that? The strawberries. Yeah. I'm getting there. <laughs> You'll be Dominican in no time. <laughs> only a four hour flight to get it. Bye. <laughs> Five hour flight to get it. Bye. Okay, it's 2.50 and I am all packed, all ready to go. I've prepped my meals. I'll be having this one on the way to the bus and then I'll be having this one at the airport. Um, and then that's it. I am smashing water like it's nobody's business and everything's ready to go. Now I'm going to end this vlog here so that I can edit it and have it up before we leave. And that's it. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in DR. My name is Yami Mufti and this is my official entry into 2017 bodybuilding.com body space spokesmodel search.